bad, bad air day. Anyway, welcome back to Copperline Rattler Ranch. I hope you had a wonderful holiday. Uh, we did. We spent time with my son and his family. Um, it was really, really nice. We had a wonderful time with them. It's always nice to see um, him and his family, my daughter and her family when they're available, as well as Don's son and his son as well. So, um, as you know, it's been a few weeks since we did a video, but um, my knee is doing tremendously better. Uh, I've tried a few things to help with the pain and the uh, inflammation. I think I finally come upon something that seems to be working for me. Um, so, yay! Still a little tender, still a little difficult to walk with, but it's getting better every day. So that's done and over with. Um, but we're getting back on the on the build. Uh, this video is going to show you what Don has been doing while I've been nursing this knee. We got to get the ceiling in. We got to get some um, venting holes drilled into these eye joists before we do anything with the ceiling. And we've got to go pick up our uh, insulation, of course, before we put the wall board, the, the drywall up for the ceiling. So that's what we're going to be doing today, drilling some of those holes. Or I should say, Don is going to be doing the drilling. So this is our uh, drywall for the bathroom. There are 16 sheets, should do the ceiling and the two walls. We're not doing all four walls, remember, just the two. Um, this is the, you'll see that it's purple on the ends. And this particular uh, drywall is specifically designed for bathrooms, kitchens, any place that's going to have a lot, you know, excessive moisture, that kind of thing. So that's why we bought this. It's more expensive. But we feel like in the long run, it's going to be a whole lot better in that bathroom where we're going to get the steam from the shower, that kind of thing. So we'll take it over here and take a look at the labels so you can see. Oh, it's upside down and backwards. So it's called Gold Bond, I guess. But it's purple. This edge is purple. I don't think it's purple. It might be purple in there. They put them, they put them two boards together. I can't tell, but I think it's purple on that side. So of course this plain side goes away, like up toward the ceiling, um, toward the uh, wood frame. And then the other side is the side that's gonna be showing and that you do all the mudding on, um, uh, finish work, that kind of thing, the tape and the mud and all that, so. It has some extra components in there to help keep mold, mildew, moisture, all that stuff from affecting it too much. So yes, this uh, drywall, the purple side is the side that goes out. And this is drywall that's made for wet areas, bathrooms. I shouldn't say wet. Damp areas like bathrooms and kitchens, things like that, that have a lot more moisture in them than like your living spaces, your living room, your bedroom, dens, things like that. So we don't have a den, we're going to have a bedroom, living room, and the kitchen will be separate. So that is what this is. Nice purple. The rest of the stuff that's going to go on the outsides uh, here and in the bedroom on this side here on this wall and the bedroom side of that wall will be just normal drywall. So we're not going to use, this is a little bit more expensive. We also have our backer board, our cement backer board that will go along this wall, this uh, wood frame wall in the shower. The mud wall will be get the lime plaster, the lime putty and the waterproofing. And then the block wall will get tile.
Don came in and put the insulation in the bathroom in, and he started with the drywall for the ceiling. So he's gotten pretty far. He is using this hoist to get that uh, drywall up to the ceiling. This is uh, something that our son Rob is lending us. Um, they knew we were going to need this before too long, and he used it for a couple of projects on his property and uh, brought it over for us to use. Actually brought it over quite some time ago. So we finally broke it out to start using it. So that's what Don's been working on. Once the ceiling drywall is up, we'll start working on the walls and we'll put the um, hardy backer board up and then the rest of the drywall along this wall and this wall and uh, get that done. So Don has finished the ceiling in here. Um, we're not too worried about the seams being perfect because we're going to put either a textured ceiling is I think what we've decided on. Um, we were wanting to think about doing some ceiling tiles, the metallic look ceiling tiles that look like the old tin roof or tin ceiling I should say. Uh, but we've kind of decided maybe against that. It's just kind of expensive, a lot more expensive than they used to be. So he did put the lights, those are the lights that will go over the shower. Um, he put those in again as a temporary measure so that we can have some light in here uh, while we're working on the walls. We're going to start over here in the shower with these cement boards. And I don't know if you can really tell. Um, I'll try and get it so that you can maybe. Uh, our ceiling matches the, the roof as in a quarter inch drop for every 12 inch run. Um, a quarter 12, I like the roof. So those first boards we put up on this wall, we're going to have to cut in order to make that um, angle. That's going to be it for this week's video. We hope you enjoyed it. Any questions or comments, put them in that comment section below the video. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and have a happy new year. Thank you. Bye-bye.